You told me not to trust you, you don't die. I can really use you. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the one that only me here. If you're new, make sure you go hit that red subscribe button to join my squad. So let's go ahead and get into it. So yes, I have another client horror story. So let's go ahead and get into it. This happened back, I want to say back in like August, I believe. Not, maybe August or September. One of those. So this lady, we're going to call her Ashley. Ashley books me from Style C. We already know the whole deal with Style C. Cool, whatever. But this is a plus on Style C's part. Style C, when a client books for like the weekends or something, like Fridays and the weekends, like a hot, busy spot, they will up the price that the client has to pay. So total, this girl basically was, was looking at, I was looking at $280 that I was going to finna make. Okay? And I wasn't mad at it. So... This girl lets me know she booked for a frontal sew-in. Did a lot of frontal sew-ins. Beautiful. Clients never complain. They all loved it. 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend because that's what I do. I love what I do. You guys know I love being a hairstylist. I love doing my work and I take pride in what I do. She was a little bit late. Like I said, I get 15 minute grace period, but I feel like people take advantage of those. Like when you book for a time, come at that time. Do not come past or whatever because they have a 15 minute grace period like that still pushes me back 15 minutes back and all my other appointments like come at your actual appointment time like it's not that hard honestly but um so she comes a little bit late i'm like cool but i had everything set out ready for her because that's how i like to be i like to be prepared i like to be present i like to be on time and i like to be you know ready to work so she comes and, you know, she books for a full service thing. So that's why her total was like 280 something. She booked for a wash, a deep condition, a blow out, and then like the actual frontal service where you braid down the hair and then you sew down the hair and all that stuff. She did not book for customization, which I normally tend to recommend because when you customize your laces, it looks a little bit better on the scalp, on the head, or whatever you're going to do. That's just my perfect preference but some people don't like to do that and that's perfectly fine who am i to judge i tell them that my salon suite is a no judgment zone okay um i'm i'm like okay i'm getting her ready i'm getting her draped up so i can do her wash and deep condition i knew that i was gonna stay there all freaking day and i was gonna be on my feet all freaking day and it was gonna be a long day because this girl had a lot of hair so I'm draping her up in this, that, and the other, asking her questions about her hair. Um, I tend to like ask questions because I need to know um, your day-to-day -day life, like how you're going to maintain this hair, what are you using your product, any conditions. And she did have a scalp condition. It was not seborrheic dermatitis. It was something along the lines, I think like eczema on the scalp or something like that. Something like that, where she had like a lot of flakies and all that stuff. So cool. I'm like, thank you for letting me know. Um... Now I know what type of tension and stuff to use in your hair or not. So I'm washing her hair. Cool. Um, telling her about how to wash her hair and how to deep condition her hair, how to take care of it, detangle, all that stuff. I like to educate my clients when I do their hair. Like, I like to give them information because why not, like, learn how to do your hair too, okay? Like, it can save you money. Yes, I understand. I love that you want me to do your hair, but I like to educate you too because so when you do go home and you get at-home products, you know what to get. Hair cool now we're getting down to the blowout process and she goes can i put some drops in her hair because she has a scalp condition i was like cool thanks for letting me know um typically with people who have scalp conditions you want to kind of not use a lot of heavy products on their hair and you kind of don't want to use tension on their hair just because that could activate it as well so you gotta kind of be mindful with their scalp and their hair and sensitivity and all that stuff like that so i'm keeping that in mind like that's what i was taught in school gotta keep that in mind so i am blow drying out ash's hair and then i am doing the whole braid down service so as i finished blow drying her hair and braiding it down i noticed her hair that she got she got um beauty spot store hair there's nothing wrong with that i just personally don't like to work with beauty spot store hair and i might put that in my like my policy or something because every time i work with beauty spot store hair something always goes bad like this if you are paying much for a service you need to get good quality hair so that it lasts you and so it looks right so like i said she books for a frontal sewing when i looked at the um hair it was not a frontal it was not even a closure you know like the regular closures are four by four 
it looked like this like closure was cut in half and it was like this little it literally was like this little tiny square piece of like hair that had lace on it and then it was like this excess lace and i was like this is not a frontal this is not even a closure so i had to tell her that basically this is, i'm gonna have to finesse it and i'm gonna have to make it a closure sewing so um even though it's not even a closure i literally finessed the crap out of this so um i told her that so i'm like okay the price is going to change because it's not a frontal sewing it's a closure sewing like that i'm gonna have to finesse and she agreed she said okay and i really wish that i had my cameras installed back then but i didn't i have them now so she agreed so i am like braiding her hair or whatever and she was like oh don't be afraid to make it tight so like i normally like i'm doing it the normal way that i normally braid my braids are not too 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 tight and they're not too 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 loose like they're perfect braids and everything like that like nobody else complained and i'm like okay so i'm like like pulling her hair even more even though I'm, i shouldn't because tension can lead to alopecia and she already has a scalp condition so like i did not want to be responsible for anything that happens your hair falling out or anything like that like you're not gonna try to get me so when like the fake closure piece um the lace was fine i guess but like i really had to finesse it it was just it was like a hot mess but i had to like keep it together and like do it because like i'm not gonna turn her down like if she wants the lace on she wants the lace on so um, i'm gonna try to insert a picture if i can but i literally finessed this little fake closure piece to look like a frontal basically um so i'm doing it i'm sewing it she was like yeah don't be afraid to pull the thread tighter make it really 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 tight and i it was kind of giving me red flags and it was, at that point it was kind of giving me making me a little bit um uncomfortable because like i said before a sewing isn't supposed to be too 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 tight to where it gives you tension bumps where it breaks out your hair where it's giving you headache because that defeats the purpose of it being a protective style and a lot of people don't know that yes it's good to be tight but not too tight and like that's what i kept trying to stress to her like nobody else like in fact other people have been saying that you know my threading and all that stuff was a little bit too tight so i had to like tone it down a little bit so like i kept trying to tell that to her especially with somebody who has a scalp condition um, I was like, I don't think it's in your best interest for it to be super duper tight. Um, but she just kept stressing it. So, okay, like I'm pulling it and the action if she's okay and stuff like that. Like, no. So I do her hair. It's cool. I literally finessed it. Um, it looked cute. Like it looked cute for what I basically went through. Like that trauma, okay? So I'm asking her, like, one thing about me is I'm going to ask you 50 million times if you like it, if there's anything you want me to fix, if there's anything you want me to change, are you sure? Like I'm going to keep asking you this because what I don't want you to do is to hit me up at night talking about some, oh I don't like it, can I get a refund, oh, oh I don't like it, can you come and fix it, oh I don't like, no let me know right then and there if you like it if you want me to fix something like that's one thing i don't like like people will be so scared to tell their stylists in their face if they don't like something or if they want them to fix something but we'll jump on social media and we'll bash their stylists like they didn't ask you no so like i'm gonna be annoying and i'm gonna keep asking you and if you say yes 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 you said yes you liked it and it looked good like i'm gonna try to insert a picture somewhere if i can so cool i'm cleaning up and i'm like yes i made my ring i got 280 like cool I'm, I'm out this piece so it was like a day later and she hits me up she's like oh um is there something we can do to fix it i just think i just feel like it's bulky in the bag and there's like a piece of track that's kind of sticking up that's coming up is there any way that you can fix it and i was like okay sure come back to the shop i'm uh, i'm available come back to the shop i'll fix it for free like if you don't like something let me know i'll fix it for free like i'm gonna do everything in my power to fix something that you don't like because at the end of the day you paid for a service if you don't like it i will come and fix it that's what i'm supposed to do like i'm like i braid her hair how i braid everybody else's hair it's not bulky but if you feel like it's bulky okay but what i'm not going to do is take the whole thing out and redo it that's just not what i'm going to do so sorry about that so she comes she came late again and i'm fixing her hair she's just like yeah it's only like one side i feel like it's bulky it wasn't bulky but she just had most of the braids there that i um sewed down 
it was just right there like that's your hair i don't know what you want me to do about that so she was like just make it really really tight just just pull it really tight so i pulled it really tight even though i'm not supposed to do that but i pulled it really tight and i'm like sewing it down and making it flatter than what she felt like it, it needed to be so i do that and then she was like showing me where like there was a track that was up a little bit at the end but when she was showing me she was literally like pulling it like pulling it up and like like doing that so like in my head that was already like a red flag because one thing that clients do they like to go home they like to put their fingers in their hair and mess up their hair and then they say oh you did it so like it was a red flag to me right there because she was like literally digging in it and like pulling it up going like that really heavy-handed and pulling it up and like making the tracks come up so i'm like oh, okay that's fine that's fine i can find it myself so i'm like sewing it down i look throughout her hair and i just basically reinforce every little end piece of the track just because i feel like she's digging she was digging in her head and like pulling it up um so that's what i did she was like no i don't think there's any more so i just literally looked and there wasn't any more but i still just added that reinforcement just so it could satisfy her just so that it could be you know that she knows that like i care like i'm a stylist that cares and i will do anything to make you happy basically and i asked her 50 million times i was like are you sure is everything fine are you fine is there anything you want me to fix look at it in the mirror let me know to make a turn around this that and the other she's like no it's fine i love it it's perfect she was like you did good on the lace part she was like just just next time make it really 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 tight because i need it really really tight i was like okay but i'm not supposed to do that but okay so cool everything was fine you know i even recommended her some places to go because she was new to the area so i was like yeah yeah you know i'm very nice i'm very professional i'm gonna do everything to make you happy basically so why the next day in the morning i get a notification that she tipped me twenty dollars i was like okay yay cool and thank you and then i get a notification that she left a three-star review talking about some yes mimi was professional she was so personal and, and and she loves what she does you know she's very good with natural hair and lace applying but she definitely needs more work with sewing i felt like my sewing was bulky on one side and when i went back for her to fix it it was just no use i just it was just unsatisfying and i you know one thing about me is like when i ask you if you like it and when i ask you if there's anything to fix why are you gonna lie to me in my face why are you gonna lie why are you gonna lie it just didn't make sense to me like it was giving me really weird vibes and red flags because i was like is this girl trying to scare me or like is she like being for real because if you didn't like it and you were so unsatisfied why would you tip twenty dollars that same day you wrote that bad review that just then if i'm upset and like if i didn't like my hair and i'm not gonna tip somebody twenty dollars i probably would tip them five or maybe nothing but twenty dollars that, that that's a big tip that's a big tip so it kind of like made me think i was like is this girl really trying to scam me and i don't even know if she was trying to scam me i really did not care because i don't i don't care so i responded back to her and i was like oh i'm sorry that you feel that your soul was still too loose and bulky i don't put too much tension on protective styling when i do their hair because it defeats the purpose of being a protective style since you already had a scalp condition i didn't want to cause any more um damage to your hair such as tension bumps and tension bumps can lead to pre alopecia and just breakage and damage of your hair if you're trying to focus on the hair health of your hair I, when I do hair, I focus on your hair health first and then the protective styling. So she knew that. She knew exactly that because I told her that. So I was like, um, feel free to reach out to me whenever you need to. I'll be available. So she texted me. She goes, so sorry I had to write that review. And I'm like, how are you sorry for that review that you wrote? But you wrote it. So how are you sorry about it? That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all be so quick to tear down black-owned businesses and black hairstylists. But then you're going to say, oh, I'm sorry that I wrote the review. But you still wrote it and sent it. And that review will never go away. Like, that's only one review, though. Like, everybody else, like I said, nobody else complains. Everybody else loves what I do. You know, I'm always quick to fix things and, you know, be responsible and professional and just do what I got to do. I don't see this so in lasting. It won't last two weeks. Um... It's not supposed to last a month anyway. Um, I don't know if people know that about your protective styles. They're not supposed to last a, a month. 
probably like three to six weeks but like a whole month or more that's not protective style um braids is another thing but she was like it won't last about two two weeks um i just don't see this this so in improving and then she showed me pictures and when i looked at these pictures i was like what huh i if i can put these pictures in i'll probably put them up here but it literally she literally showed me a big gap in her sewing like it was like a big gap like you could literally see like the rows of braids that i did like you could see that and then you could see like this one long piece of track that she's literally like ripping out of her hair to show me and i'm just like i think she thinks i'm stupid because there's no way like your hair did not look like that when you came when the first time you came and your hair did not look like that when you came the second time when i looked through your head so now that makes me feel like you're taking your hair out and trying to make it seem like I did that. She it literally looked like she took it out and tried to tell me that I left her hair like that when that's not the case. So like I literally see her like taking the track piece out and like flipping it and like doing that to her to her head. I'm like, oh, no shit is gonna come out because you're literally pulling and tugging on it and like ripping it out your head. And like that there was like this big gap spot that like you could see the rows of braids. And I was like, hey, there is no way in hell that I would ever leave somebody's hair like that. Are you kidding me? I'm not I'm not that type of stylist. I do not no money in the amount of world will ever let me. You know what I'm saying? Like money isn't everything. My work is everything. So if there's something that's wrong, I'm gonna be like, oh sit down, let me fix this. Oh, come back, let me fix this. Oh, girl, I don't know what I was thinking. I'ma fix this. Like I'm a you know what I'm saying? No charge. I'm going to fix it. No charge. A lot of people would have charged her if they if she came back. Something or whatever. So I'm just like kind of taking it all. And I was like, that is unacceptable. I was like, I would never let. I told her this. I said, I would never let my clients leave my chair looking like that. So I'm confused on where this is all coming from. So I was like, if you would like me to look at it again, come back okay free of charge or if i will offer you like a free install to fix it or whatever if you choose to come back if you so choose she was, so she was like very you know okay yeah i might take you up on that offer and stuff like that and then she takes me back again and she was like i would just like my money back um i will i will pay for all the other stuff that you did but i just want the money back for the sewing part because i cannot afford to get somebody else to redo it in this that and the other she's like i'm just gonna have my mom do it and i was like why are you telling me your whole life story it just didn't make sense to me so like i, I of course i'm like if you want your money back bye see you never i will refund you your money it's nothing it's really nothing but she was like oh yeah but she, the fact that she was like oh i'll pay for the other services yeah you'll pay for the other services because at the end of the day i use my product through you at my time you know what i'm saying i gotta pay rent and I did the other services. Like, it's not my fault that you didn't like what you did and you, you ripped it out your hair. So I felt like she was kind of like of a scammer because, like I said, if you didn't like your hair and it was like big gaps and bald spots and you had tracks coming out and stuff, why would you tip me $20 that same day? That really didn't make sense to me. So I just refunded to her and I was like, cool, there's your refund. And she was like, thanks for being a decent person that this and the other because a lot of people wouldn't have done that but like you're not going to try to tarnish me down and then try to make it seem like my work isn't good like there is room for improvement i'm not saying i'm arrogant tay but even arrogant tay needs work too but i'm not trying to say i'm the best of the best because nobody's the best of the best there's always room for improvement there's always room for practice you know you, you should never walk around like your butt st don't stink you know what i'm saying so like I just I don't know that whole situation was really weird to me because it was like I would never leave nobody with gaps in their head and tracks falling out and just I just I and I was like I was asking my friends I was like am I tripping or am I crazy I was like there's like no you would never leave nobody looking like that and I was like yeah I know because I really take this stuff seriously like I literally like hair doing hair and beauty stuff is like I take it seriously. So yeah like I basically refunded her two hundred and ten dollars I was left with what. $80 basically but it just didn't make sense to me because why would you tip me if you were so unsatisfying talking about some it was disappointing and all of this I felt like I got scammed I just felt like I got scammed honestly cause, like I could not believe it um but yeah that is my client horror story if you want to know more because I have more let me know down below in the comments down below and I will see y'all when I see y'all bye mm -hmm.